all right everyone welcome back to the channel and more mutant year zero road to eden let's load up okay we we'll load from the auto save so after the last episode i have not done anything as such we'll go to the sea of titan uh, i have taken some mutations we'll continue with the same team um Bormin, duck and pharaoh um, the only thing I want to do is I want to give the the other one this one to Pharaoh so that she um, she has a passive where she gets a double critical chance when hidden and um, on higher ground ducks also so we will come across a lot of enemies together we'll put these two higher and then we will change this to not this is already hog rush okay our goal is to go towards uh, towards the top right so basically we want to go to this one that's a location called uh, rot warren or something um i'm not sure if it has anything special i don't remember we can go out this way we have cleared out this one so we don't have to fear for anyone was this the one I think this was the one. Okay, yeah, this is the one we did not go to. The game is becoming interesting and tougher. Oh, it opens up the next one, which is level 45. Okay, so there is an initial area, the rot warren. Yes, I was correct. Initial area that we will quickly take a look at if anything is there. Oh. Look at that that's more east um not sure if that's another path towards the more east look at this giant probably been sitting here for centuries this giant's a machine it's got that mimer mark we've been seeing the mimer mark EMP grenade, electronic scrap. So we don't yet know what Mimer really is. So that's what's just a side area. I see some loot. There's an underground complex near here. Very close, I think. Never okay. seen it, but I heard about it. A clan lived in it, and they supposedly left some good stuff before disappearing. Yeah, why do I think they did not disappear willingly? They were probably killed and eaten by some ghouls. Okay, so that's the other one. Now let's open that up. We don't want to really fight the um, the other thingy. Home of the Horned Devil. Right? Yeah, the Lair of the Horned Devil. We don't want to be here. We are not really... You know, we probably can... Uh, Take it up if, like, take it on if we want to. But we'll take it on when we reach level 45. Which should be soon. Someone busted in here recently. There might be some of our rothead buddies down there. Look alive. Okay, so we have reached the rot warren. We'll save and we'll continue. So we'll follow the typical go left first before going right we're getting pretty deep i'm 
not saying I'm scared, but... Yeah, if you're not scared, what are you? Yeah. Elder Almighty, this place is like the Ark, but the people here were slaughtered. Elder Almighty. So for them, there is only one God. That's their elder. I have like a bunch of Kim Flare. Okay. Yep, as we know, these guys did not vanish willingly. What kind of bloodthirsty ghouls would kill all these innocent people? This is nuts. How about we administer some vengeance on their rotting asses? You with me? Yep. We are with you. Okay. So, good time to save because we will soon run across enemies right here. I'm hungry. I am hungry, he says. You want the cook to cook for us? He's got no food. No. I want to eat the cook. <laughs> eat him. No, he's too phony. He smells rotten too. Yes, I smell like shit. Taste like shit too. Just uh, shitty all around. <laughs> you don't want to get near me. <laughs> he's like somehow, somehow holding on. Okay, so we'll first fight the mid bot. Let's make sure that we have this on her and we also have the same thing on um them we'll wait for the mid bot to come back now okay go in pharaoh use your silence pistol and circuit break this guy Okay, now Bormin, you have 100% from here, awesome, ducks, you move closer because once you start shooting, you cannot move, you'll have to reload. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we'll just reload and finish him off. Follow me. Okay. There is another guy over here. Bunker life, day 115. We have not seen sunlight in months. Um, some of the group are already showing signs of vi vitamin D deficiency. Lacking the energy to complete daily tasks, we had set ourselves to keep going, both mentally and physically. Arguments are frequent with some escalating into violence. If only Oli would let us out for an hour or two. Okay, we'll again... Um... And we'll start it here. We won't need all three. Okay. Come on, guys. Say my name, she's wife. It's Pharaoh. Cheese wife. The cheese wife dialogue is uh, really funny. Okay. Did I mention that uh, um, I've got Get that this new upgrade, which uh, which increased all my weapons? Looks like this community's got a lone survivor. Uh, all my weapons uh, damage by one, so that's really good. Okay. 
No, no, no. Anything else here? No. Okay. Where is Ducks? Ducks is still hiding here. Okay. So now I think we are okay to go and uh, take on all these guys. So we'll save before we go in. There is a hunter or something. We came from there. Uh, there is this path. There is a butcher there. And there is this red room. Oh, the butcher is coming here. Let's take care of him. What? Oh, you only had 25%? Get. Now, I screwed up to some extent. Um, I... Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. You ain't half bad for a newbie. What do you mean she's a newbie? Okay. See, if you don't clo go close, very difficult to see things. Okay. Come on, scrap. Okay, so now we are getting into the main area. So before we take care of these guys, there are there is a hunter on the top. We will take care of him. So let's lead with Bormin. We'll wait for the hunter. We'll save here. We'll wait for the hunter to move. Oh, he's right over here. Let's attack him. Because this is the best place. Oh, oh Bormin, you won't go over the flight. Flight of stairs. Don't miss. You got. Okay. Now Pharaoh also won't go near the stairs. Man, this is bad. Um. Oh, does that hurt? Seventeen. How much you are now? Ten. Okay. Oh shit. No, this won't work. Okay, thank God he caught on fire. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. But it was important to take out that guy. Um, okay, so we'll save now. And we'll set these guys up. So, Bormin. We'll set up Bormin. Here, somewhere close by. Okay. And we'll set up... Come on, ducks. Don't get stuck on things. Is there anything here? Yeah. This was some kind of throne room. We'll set up ducks here. And we'll set up Pharaoh over here. Now, the good thing about Pharaoh is that... If we shoot with her from here, she gets a huge amount of uh, bonus crit chance. We'll save into a new save. Okay, and change the gun. Gunslinger. Yeah, but only 25% chance on the other guys. Okay, we'll have to take it. I'm the hero. You're the from me. We hit two out of three. Awesome. And we'll use um ducks next. Change over to the gun. We'll use uh gull splitter on the pyro. 
Let's go. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? And Bolmin. Um. That's not good. Got hit. That stung me with that one. I bet. So reload and get rid of the pyro. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> okay. So now Bolvin, you go here. Use your proper gun, okay, and get rid of this guy. Okay, now ducks. Get rid of the shaman. That had to hurt. Okay, so when the shaman comes up, he's going to be dead. But this guy is still alive. And he misses from there. Yeah, hang on, Bormin. Just finish him off. It didn't work out as I wanted, but it worked out nonetheless. So, Pharaoh is still stuck there. Just another of those fists. Okay. So now she's back. So the the, the game it this was not supposed to play out like this, but the game game completely screwed us. By dropping Pharaoh in a position from where like we would be immediately discovered. We came to this room right before. Yes. This is where we killed the robot. And this is where we killed the other uh, Marauder. Um, any more items? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Ah, oh, my saviors, saviors, dirty little saviors. I, I wish I washed my hands so I could shake your hands and paws uh, or whatever's growing out of your arms. I I'm not racist, I'm not. Please, tell me your names. What we're trying to ask you is, are you a freaking whack job or what? No, no whack job. I'm Emma, Emma the cook. I'm the one who cooks and cleans for the pretty, pretty people. They were pretty. For decades, we hid from the zone. We were safe until the ghouls found a way in. You first hear the screams, and then the lights went out. And you can hear the scraping and the chewing. Hey, I'm no warrior. I'm just a cook, you know? Ebba, dirty little coward. We thought the last settlement was the Ark. We didn't know you existed. Well, you got to get out of the Ark more, mate. Get some exercise. <laughs> Did you say Ark? Oh, boy. You don't want to hear this. You really don't want to hear this. They kept saying... They were gonna destroy the Ark with some, uh, uh, uh weapon uh, that they're bringing to their masters, uh, some weird religious shit. Th they want to blow up the Ark and kill everyone inside, everyone. Listen, these ghouls have a lair to the north. The leader is called the Grey One. They're just multiplying up there, breeding like zonarets. Please, please do something about them before it's too late. Okay, so that's it with the the rot warren. Um, I hope I'm not missing anything. Most probably I'm not. So let's get back to... We don't want to fight that for the time being. Let's get back to the Ark. We now have enough scrap to upgrade one of the... Um, hey, one of the loud mean? weapons. But the thing is, yeah, we can upgrade this to level 3. 
And this will be 1116. But don't want to do that because I think we soon enough we are going to find better weapon. Um, we will rather go and make a visit to the castle of light. That's a story. In my original playthrough, I had the maximum trouble with it. It's one of the toughest fight. So, first time when we come here, it's going to be like no fight at all. Back to the zone. Come to me. Come to Lux. Come to me. Come to Lux. Did you hear that voice? That was weird. Keep your guard up. Take a chill pill, all right? If the voice wants to bring light to the zone, I'm all for it. All in, me. Come on, let's find this Lux. Yeah, we'll find the Lux. So the story is that Lux has power of getting into people's mind so he's over there but we are going to just collect stuff so he's going to convince these three people to um get the key for if what he calls is the temple where the light comes from and then uh, basically he will switch on the lights this whole area is under darkness right now we can already see there is already some light. Um, ah, we have Welcome gone close to, to him. Castle of light. <laughs> Forgive me for not providing the illumination this castle is known for. I pray that someday we will once again become a beacon of light for weary travelers. Don't sweat it. You got a nice place here. Would your name happen to be Lux? We heard you outside. Lux, I am. You say you heard my voice in the zone? Quite interesting. Perhaps the fates brought you here. You look strong, well armed. You get things done, yes? Hells yes, we're stalkers. We take everything the zone throws at us and then some. Then I humbly request your assistance there is a pack of renegade ghouls who wish to keep the zone in darkness they stole the key to the sacred sanctum where the lights get their power <laughs> perhaps you can help me recover this key from the ghouls it's a special key you wouldn't miss it return it to me and i'll reward you handsomely I like handsome rewards. We'll deal with the ghouls and get your keys. So, I was suspicious when these guys readily accepted his offer. I'm like, he is definitely playing games. And then when we go into the, the next zone, where this key is, we'll surely understand that's exactly what's happening. Be because if we listen to their dialogue, they will mention that all these people that we will see now, that we see here, they are under mind control from this one guy, right? So we cannot get in there, but once we get the key, this door will be open. So we'll do that next. We'll get the key before going to hey, the... That Lux guy seemed pretty cool, right? I hear you there. Seems like he can be a friend. I don't have friends. Well, except you lot. But another friend would be cool. Lux's lights are a beacon of hope for the zone. Let's turn them back on. We're gonna have to convince those ghouls to give us back the key. Yeah, none of these guys are this much straight towards anyone. They would... So, in a post-apocalyptic world, there is no reason why they, why they will trust Lux. So readily. So that's why I thought, no, there is something wrong. In Hindi, we will say, Dal mein kuch kala hai. And that's what it came out to be. Okay. We should rescue Hammond before venturing any further into the zone. Yep. So when you come into this corner, although I don't believe 
there is anywhere specific we can go to maybe we can go through here so this is not taste yeah we cannot go anywhere there is only only other path is south that's there um okay so yeah there is no way to get into that area but look at all this light there is already light no no way to get into that area if you don't go to the other zone and uh Here you go. The unlightened. We'll save. Customary. At, a, at the beginning of one of the areas. Broken gun, I'll always take it. Now why the hell would someone cut trees down and put them in neat little piles? Weird. Let's find Lux's key and get out of here. Just some tree... Tree actually spooked him off. up and relax so that's the story Lux has slaves working for him whom he mind controlled um, so that he can power the lights okay we will get rid of this butcher first we'll save the game here and let him come back Duxy, can you hide at this corner? Yeah, you can. Elma, you hide in this corner. Let's start. Butcher only has 14, so we only need like Give two guys. Go easy on ya. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. We grow. Duxy didn't get a chance to shoot. Um. So other than these guys. Uh, okay. So this is a level twenty-five hunter. Other than these guys. Um. So let us hide everyone. Uh, where do we hide? We can hide anywhere. We'll wait for the guy to come up. We won't save. Other than these guys, there is a big mean machine we'll need to take care of. You won't come any further? No, okay. I thought he came further, okay. In that case, Pharaoh, you slide down here. Bormin, you hide over here. And Ducks, you can hide over here. Okay. And we get some... some 
reward here you can see the box right okay as soon as he comes across there and stops that's where we go so this guy is 24 that means we'll use all the tricks we have now it's getting fun and we'll use Bormin last. Um. Say my name, Jizwipe. It's Barrow. Too easy. So he has six, and Bormin's gun does seven. So we don't have to use any tricks at all. We'll straight kill him. And that to that did. Uh, that was awesome. Get your asses over here. That did critical damage. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Gladiator helm. <laughs> uh. All the names that they give these things. They don't have any idea what that was used for. Was there another guy over here? I forgot. Um, probably not. These were outhouse. What's a broken gun doing in the outhouse? Okay. So in the middle, there are these three guys. Those will fight together. But before that, we'll check out the... Uh, we'll check out the Mimir uh, robot. Here it goes. We'll definitely save before that. And we'll make sure um, that everyone has their circuit breaker. Okay, so we have circuit breaker on both Pharaoh and... Um, okay, we can get started. So this time we will start with... Um, with... Uh, not ducks, with Bormin. We'll, we won't move too close because when this guy will will target the NAC FS loaded neutralize all mutant intruders. That's what's up. This guy has like three um Okay, we'll first try it with him. Hi there. So is he out? He is out for two turns. I am the beautiful weapon. That's from me. We are only doing three damage. So for this round, we will shoot, reload, and shoot. For next round, with Pharaoh, we'll have to use her special ability. With Borman, reload, shoot. That. With ducks, reload, shoot. Ooh. Okay, so with ducks, reload, shoot. With, we'll go with Bowman first. Reload. Shoot. Come on. With her, we will use. We'll reload. And we'll use circuit breaker. Give up now, and I'll go easy on ya. That's right. Okay. So let's do it again. With. That takes care of him. If we are standing very close, we would have been hit by those blasts. Okay. That gives us 11 weapon parts. That's awesome. And what was he guarding here? Was he guarding anything? Oh, there is another big one. So, he was basically guarding this whole area. 
it's good to have like these duplicate kind of capabilities on uh you know multiple uh, multiple of our uh, squad mates okay Better be something tasty another one of these There is some gun parts. Man, this was a whole area of robots. Okay, so I think that's it. Alright, so we'll get back to the initial three guys and we'll then talk about how to how do we tackle those. Now we can take one of the guys and put them now who has the highest range weapon this is 13 this is 14 this is 8 why does she have the boomstick um you could have the rambino which also has 8 and 11 damage instead of this is oh she can also have now boomstick does more damage 10 15 so 10 base damage but it only has a range of eight so ducks we will save here and then we'll set up we can set ducks i got this cover me up here right over here um we can also send problem with her would be if we send her up she will have to have a higher uh, range weapon so boomstick was 10 15 and rambino is 8 11 but has 45 percent crit so we'll put her up here with the rambino and then we'll send uh Bormin on the ground now let's look at our thingies so Bormin has the correct ones we'll need me this thing and for this we'll need this now these guys are not really close that's a fancy key could be useful these guys are really not close to each other right so doesn't like if we if we try here can we do We can maximum hit two people, not three. We can hit... This guy is quite far away. So, it would make sense to actually have someone here to fire on this guy. Like, should we put... And we no, we cannot capture all three. Should we put like ducks over here? That's the question. You know what? Let's start. I'm the hero. Give up now. Go easy on you. Okay, she hits both of them. We will now use ducks. Change over to a loud weapon. 95 crit we will stop this guy from moving okay and on board main 
we'll use it on this guy which shot let's see Okay, we'll finish off the big guy first because he's the biggest. Um, hold on, Ogrash uses only one turn, right? So we can hog rush this guy. And so we can still fire on this guy. Oh shit, we fired on the wrong guy. Um, Pharaoh, why don't you finish off you our big friend here? Okay. Now, um, Docs, I will move you over here and put you on Overwatch. Okay, so first Bormin. Uh, blank him. So I don't want to go just next to him, but I can go here. Okay, and Pharaoh. You have 50% shot from here. So take it. Name, wipe. It's get okay. And Ducks also has a 75% shot. So, what if we use uh, that's 100%. You are almost done, dude. <laughs> you will be dead. Okay. The so Bormin is the closest one. Move here. Finish him off. Change the gun. Finish him off. Okay. Bullseye. Bullseye. Follow me. Okay, so that was not that bad. Uh, there was something here, back here, right? Some loot that we could not previously pick up. No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. We'll quickly check this middle area. Oh, nothing. Oh, there is the key that we came for. Elysium EMP 50. Awesome. EMP grenade and Luxus Sanctuary. Wrong. Why are we doing this? Yeah. Why are we helping Lux again? I don't want to rag on anybody, but he's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Who cares about his freaking key? I think Lux is mucking about in our minds, putting that hypnotize on us. We've got to make him pay. Yeah, we'd love to make him pay, but he has a huge army. So, thing is, we can easily go back to Castle of Light. But as soon as we go, he will say, bring it to me, bring it to me. If you bring it to him, nothing happens. So, bring the key back to me, yeah. Warriors, so we may once again shine light from this blessed cathedral of hope. Bring <laughs> the key back. Bring, bring the, the key, key back. back. Yeah, he's trying to still mind control us. We got Lux's key. Should we give it to him or 
give it to Prip back home. Well, we did promise to return it to him, and promises are important. How about we just take the key and unlock his sacred sanctum ourselves? Go in, take a little peek. Yeah, that will be the cue for the fight. Right, so we are not going to do any of those. Instead, we'll create a new save we can come back to. And we'll then ship on ship on back to the Ark. And we'll quickly check. So we got a new damage module. So let's put that in the two additional or in the Rambino. Um so we are using two Rambinos and Raminos do 8, 12, 8, 11. Um, we are using two Rambinos and one boomstick. We have a level 12 boomstick. You know what? Let's put it in the boomsticks. So not this boomstick. This one doesn't need any. This, this one we don't want to use. But the level 2 boomstick, we should. So this should have a scope. Um... And this should 30% additional weapon damage. This does a lot. Could we upgrade this to level 3? I don't know. Easy. I'll hold off. And we will move on to the next area. Not the level 50. Cult lands. And that's where we will end this episode. In the next episode we'll do cult lands. And probably another like 2 areas are per video seems to be a good uh, choice hopefully you guys liked it if you did like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i'll see you with the next episode game changer x out oh let's not forget to save the so castle of light we will keep as is we'll keep that uh, as is game changer x out